Well, welcome to your practice. Today I have designed a sequence and a theme to go to yoga to find your inner peace so we can expand that peace all over the world. So whether or not you celebrate the holidays, today we're gathering here to rebalance, right? The holidays sometimes unconsciously bring some sort of stress in our life because we want to organize, we plan, we try to give our best, we try to cover all the things that we got to do in that to-do list, sending the cards, buying the food, cooking, you know, all the stuff that is expected from us. And sometimes that can be too much. So now more than ever, practicing going into your yoga mat to just find 60 minutes for you to just decompress, to reconnect, to just kind of settle in and find your inner peace, especially in today's day. We have to learn how to tap into our inner peace, especially to be able to give peace, world peace. So we're going to start with a gentle, mindful breathing practice to kind of center ourselves and kind of calm down the nerve system. And then we're going to go into some kind of warm up moving flow just to build some energy in the body. We're going to do some standing balancing poses just to tap a little bit with our playfulness in the practice. And then we're going to cool down with some twists and then a brief Shavasana just to let all that marinate in our bodies. So I hope you're ready and excited. Take a moment to settle and find a comfortable way for you to sit. And remember that props are optional. So if you Prefer to see taller, grab your blankets, your cushions, your blocks. And after you settle, after, after you allow your body to kind of feel supported, give yourself a moment to tap into that inner space by closing your eyes. And start to notice and witness how are you feeling in your body? How's it feel to breathe? Notice any predominant emotions. Notice the pace of your thoughts and the type of thoughts. And then dropping your awareness even deeper into settling into this space, into this moment. Letting all your senses to take a moment to slowly slow down from the hectic pace of the day to day. So come back to observing the breath and see if you can notice the beginning of the inhale, the middle, and the end. And how we shift into the beginning of the inhale, exhale, the middle, and end. And continue breathing, observing the three parts of the inhale. And how we shift into the three parts of the exhale. And as you breathe, invite your physical body to relax a little bit deeper into this moment, settling more into the seated position that you have chosen. Relaxing the shoulders, your chest. Relax your abdomen and your hips. Soften in your legs. Continue for a couple more rounds of breathing, observing, noticing. Relaxing and letting go of anything that feels overwhelmed. And one more breath here. And full on exhale. 
And just let your breath now be a little bit more natural, but yet make sure it feels long and slow. So it feels that you are a little bit more at ease with the breath. And retaking the theme of inner peace, right, is about acknowledging when we feel off track and trying to find that center point. So visualize a cross where you are going to draw a line from north-south and then you drawing a line from west to east. And you're going to find that point where both lines meet right in the center. That is your inner center, your inner balance, your inner peace. And anytime at any moment during the day and different life phases, that inner point is going to shift up or down, right or left. And that's part of life. And so if we linger too much north or south or west or east, is taking us a little bit of our center. And so acknowledging where we are, then we're going to use that breath consciously to draw it back to center. And whether it's breathing exercises, whether it's journaling, meditating, practicing yoga, walking in nature, drinking more water, going a bit early, it's just different things you can do to find your inner peace. So let's take one more breath here and imagine you are right there in that center piece where it feels like nothing is lacking and where it feels like nothing is in excess. Everything is exactly the way it needs to be and you feel at ease with that reality. Maintain that emotion of satisfaction and peace. And see if we can cultivate that emotion throughout the practice. So keep your eyes closed. And then as you take your next inhale, we're going to reach the arms overhead to extend the spine, stretching the shoulders and your abdomen. And as you exhale, keep the arms up, but ground yourself even more through the legs and the pelvis. Notice, no, notice the duality of reaching up with your fingertips and crowning yourself down through the hips. One more breath in here. And as you exhale, release your right hand down to the floor next to your right hip. And that top hand, the left hand, reaching up and side bend gently to the right. And as you side bend to the right, use that bottom hand to push into the ground to Put some extra weight into the left side of your body. And just breathing into that left shoulder. One breath in. And then slowly exhale. Let's switch sides. So left hand drops, right hand reaches up and we're side bend into the left. And just lean into that right side. Then slowly come back to center. Inhale. And we're going to switch once again to the right. So we're just kind of flowing from one side to the next. And at the very end of the breath, you continue moving into the next. Inhaling to the left. Exhaling, coming up. And then inhaling, continue to the right. So it's like you're drawing some semicircle with your hands on the air and your Torso is going side to side, a little warm up for the core, for the lower back. And just at your own pace, two more rounds, nice and slow. Just notice how your legs feels more relaxed. Notice how the side bend becomes a little bit more familiar. Maybe your body feels opening up a little bit more. And just finding that center piece, right? That inner piece, that center balance on that cross line that we imagine. We're moving from that center. Steady, calm, focused, grounded. And then once you're done, come back to center with both hands. And we're going to do a gentle twist to the right. 
So you can use your hands as a support on the ground to maintain the spine nice and tall. And try to twist until you feel sensation and then stop in there. No need to go deeper on the first one. And then inhale, center and twist into the left and stop as soon as you feel the sensation of the twist and just be more mindful on centering the entire spine above the hips, crown of the head, reaching up. And now we're gonna do that flow. We're gonna twist again to the right, settle in and just kind of notice how every twist maybe invites you to go a little deeper. Come back to center, inhale, exhale, twist into the left. So we're going to rotate side to side, three more rounds, nice and slow, relaxing the jaw and shoulders. And just let in the breath, dictate the rhythm of your movement, moving side to side. Breathing with so much intention that you feel the beginning of the breath, the middle and the end. And last round, nice and slow. And last one, exhale. and then come back to center with your spine. Now we're going to roll in circle with our shoulders. We're going to lubricate a little bit the hip socket so you can bring your hands on top of the knees. We're going to lean the chest forward. Then you're going to go to the right and then you're going to lean back. So try to like round the lower back, lean all the way to the left, lean forward, almost like you're lifting the sitting bones off the floor. So you're really doing a G big circle with the shoulders and head in the air. And as you do that, pay attention to how it feels in the groin area, right? This is exactly the area we're trying to bring some lubrication in the joints. And you can add the shoulders here if you want to be a little bit more into the shoulders. You can just kind of let the shoulders move side to side as you Continue that big circle. So the entire, and maybe you can drop the head and move the head side to side. This is one of the movements where you move intuitively, knowing what the body wants. Every movement is going to move energy. And as you might be familiar with the chakras, the entire spine is where all those energy vortex reside. So as you move here, we are activating them, we're unblocking them, finding that inner balance, finding that inner peace. And just one more round on this side, we're going to do on the other side. So now the circle goes into the other direction. This is a little bit of influence of the Kundalini Yoga, right? The Kundalini Yoga, it's about moving the energy vortex of the spine through movements mm -hmm. to bring some heat. And it's very intuitively, there is not much alignment, there is not much symmetry. It's just like somatic movement here, right? Don't worry, we're not going to do Kundalini, but it's just, <laughs> it feels good on the spine. Good. One more breath. Nice. And then come back to center. And let's go straight into our downward facing dog just to bring ourselves into an inversion. So the first dog always is going to feel stiff. It's just the way it is, especially if it is early morning. So be kind here. Bend the knees if you need to, right? Just kind of be a mindful of how the body of way feels on so your hands, your wrist, your feet. Just kind of letting the head drop between the arms. Just maybe moving the head gently side to side. You can walk the dog to awaken slowly your calf, your heels, your toes. Breathing as you press the sitting bones up to the sky. I always remember one class I went and the teacher say, imagine you're trying to sit on the ceiling. 
<laughs> and I thought that was kind of interesting because it really brings that image that you're really trying to bring the hips high, high, high. And just take a couple breaths here. Let it feel good. Notice your shoulders. Create a space for them. Notice your abdomen. Feel the weight of the heels reaching down. Remember, they don't have to touch the floor, but this just feel energetically drawing the heels down to the earth. We're just going to do some salutations. We're going to do those so gently, so slowly. That's going to feel nice on the breath. Take an inhale, look beyond the hands. As you exhale, you can rise the heels and slowly walk to the top of your mat for standing forward full. And you get a moment here in your first standing forward full, right? The crown of the head drops, stretching the back of the neck, leaning into your toes, awakening the back of the legs. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine halfway up, hands above the knees. And the crown of the head feels that it's reaching forward. Your lower abdomen draw in. And then exhale again, releasing the chest down, releasing the head. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. And you can use the legs by bending the knees, pressing the heels down and reaching arms up. That's a healthy way to lengthen your spine and not using so much the lower back. Now, as you exhale, release forward fold. Long inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up, arms overhead. And then exhale, release again, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Maybe a little bit of back bend at the top if that feels right. And then exhale, release, forward fold again. Very nice. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale forward fold. Inhale lengthen halfway. As you exhale, hands on the floor, lowering the pelvis and kicking one leg at a time to downward facing dog. Take two breaths in here. And just be mindful of spreading your fingers as wide as possible, knuckles, index, and thumb, pressing down to the crown. Good. Let's go into a three-legged dog on the right side. As you take your next inhale, kick that right leg straight up to the sky. And just appreciate the challenge of being on three points of contact, right? It's not an easy one. So try to center the pelvis, right in your right toes, feeling that right glute. Take your small and slow transition into that low lunge so your right knee comes forward. And then settle your foot between the hands. And we're going to drop the left knee on the floor. If you want to use your props, you can use blocks under your hands. And we're going to extend the chest, leaning back. Stay here for a moment and breathing into that deep stretch of the left hip. Try to lower the sacrum. So lengthen your sacrum here and squeeze the lower abdomen in. And keep pressing that back leg into the ground so the back leg's strong. Very nice. Take an inhale. Now, as you exhale, we're going to step forward in standing forward fold. So take your time to drag the back foot forward. And here, grab opposite elbows for a moment and dangle your chest or your spine side to side. 
Spread your toes wide. Lean a little bit towards the toes. Feel free to bend the knees. And just deep stretch of the head of your hamstrings, the lower back. And just one more breath in here. Full exhale. Release the hands. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. And then exhale forward fold. Inhale all the way up to standing, our arm ahead. And then exhale forward four. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just start to notice the movement, building some heat. Two breath in here. Spread your toes. Lift the hips. Let's do an inhale, lifting that left leg up and back for that three-legged dog. Just take one moment here to feel the challenge, to find that inner peace, find that inner center with the breath, your focus, calm, and then transition into that low lunge, right? Your left foot comes between the hands nice and slow. And then we're going to drop the right knee down on the floor. If you're using blocks, gather them nearby and we're going to lift the chest and press the head back. Imagine the skull of the back of your head is reaching back, but the crown of the head is reaching high up. And just notice where you feel the most, right? Usually it's going to be the front of the right hip, but you might feel this more in other areas of the body. So breathing into it. Full exhale. One more inhale. And then drag the back leg forward, standing forward, fold. Nice and slow. Very good. And now we did that slowly, but we're going to do that again a little bit more fast, but not fast. What I mean to see, we're just going to move a little bit more to the sound of the breath. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reaching your arms up. As you exhale, let your chest forward fold down into the legs. Lengthen your spine parallel to the floor. Exhale, hands down to the floor so you can walk back to downward facing dog. Two breath, grounding through the ball of your feet, through your palms. Inhale, right leg up and back. Feel the stretch of the front of the pelvis and the strength of the back of your pelvis on the right side. Find your low lunge. Exhale. Right foot between the hands, left knee drops. Option one, hands on the ground or blocks. Option two, reaching arms overhead. Deep inhale. As you exhale, hands down, and we're going to drag the back foot forward, standing forward full. Good. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Long exhale, forward full. Come all the way up to standing. Inhale. Growing taller. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhaling dog. Long exhale. Inhale, left leg up and back. Breathe in. Exhale, find that low lunge, nice and slow. Left foot comes forward, right knee drops. Choose your option with your hands as you take your next breath. Deep inhale, long exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, hands down, stepping forward, standing forward full. 
Just close the cycle, inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale all the way up, Urva Hastasana, extending arms so high up. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway up. Now, as you exhale this time, we're going to bend the knees and find a gentle chair pose. You can reach the arms in front of you, or you can rest your hands on your thigh, or you can bring your palms together in the heart center. And when I say a gentle chair pose, which pretty means you don't have to go so deep down with your pelvis, it's more about tracking those knees back. So if you were to feel, that the knees are on top of the heels. That's where you're gonna feel the weight goes back to the heels. Your toes might lift off the floor, so try to ground your toes. And then your pelvis is kicking back, right? It's not an easy position, very demanding. Strengthening and toning our legs are our patient for sure. One more breath in. And then exhale, forward fold. This time you have the option to reach the hands behind you and maybe grab opposite elbows or maybe interlace your fingers. But try to imagine that the shoulder blades are coming together. So the front of the chest feels a gentle stretch. And if it's too much for the legs, you can rest the chest on your thighs, bending the knees. It's almost like you're doing that gentle chair pose here. Right, take one more inhale and long exhale. Good, release the hands to the ground and kick your left foot back, keep your right leg what it is and find your warrior two on the foundation first, hands on the floor. So we're doing a warrior two with the hands on the floor, warrior two on your base, I should say. So the back heel is gently dropping the front knee is bending and you're lowering the pelvis a little bit lower so you can keep the fingertips on the floor. And just notice how that feels on the inner thigh of that front leg. Notice that your hip maybe wants to kick out, bring it to the center and keep grounding yourself through the back leg. I don't know about you, but when I do my warrior two like this, it feels more challenging than doing it with the arms up because there is more focus on maintaining the pelvis in the center of the mat. You might feel it more engagement of the legs. So take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, lift the back heel so you are doing a high lunge with your hands on the floor. That's it. So now we're centering the pelvis. Good, release that left knee down. So now we're laying that low lunge and reach your arms overhead. So notice that we haven't done fully standing, but your legs probably are feeling tired <laughs> or fatigue. It's another up, um, approach to the practice. Good, release your hands down. We're gonna do half split. So we're gonna extend the front leg, bring the pelvis back, flexing your right foot. And let your chest forward fall here. Find your center pose with the hips in the center of the mat. It's all about balance here. Finding your inner peace. I think every pose kind of triggers us at some point in different ways, whether because it's challenging or we feel frustrated or confused or overwhelmed, whatever the pose brings to you. And that's where I'm going to invite you to find that mid center of that cross that we imagine. How can I find my inner peace regardless of the challenge? And the more you practice that on your mat, on your practice, it becomes easier when you go and face life outside your yoga mat you know exactly how to find your inner peace bend the front knee lift the back leg and standing forward fold dragging that back foot forward so a little bit of similarity right similar but different of the sequence 
drop here. Shake the head. Yes, I know. Breathe in. Breathe out. In your next inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach in arms overhead. Long stretch. And then exhale again. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway up. As you exhale, bend the knees, a gentle chair pose. Because you know where we're going, so we're going to save some of that energy for doing that variation of warrior two, right? So seat and center your body weight into the feet. Feel your shoulders relax, your pelvis kicking back. Couple more breaths here. Good, and then release the hands all the way down to the floor. We're gonna kick the right leg back in. Find your standing warrior two on the right. So your right heel is dropping. You're welcome to walk that left foot slightly forward. So when you bend the front knee, it helps you to kind of lower the pelvis a little bit more. And if you prefer hands on your blocks, please place them on the blocks. Maybe open your right foot a little bit more to the right. If it feels kind of funny on the pelvis, walk your left foot a little bit more to the left. And Here's where you need to learn how to find your inner peace because you're being challenged, right? So how can I adjust either my body or my breath or my attention or my perception so I can find my inner balance, my inner focus that leads me to my inner peace? One more breath here. And slowly, we're going to lift that back heel to rotate the pelvis in the high lunge with hands on the floor. So all we're using is our hands. All we are doing is using the core and the strength of our legs. Good. Release that right knee on the ground for that low lunge. And now reach in the arms overhead. A couple breaths in here. Inhale. And then exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale, hands down. Find your half split. I'm going to rock the pelvis back, extending the front leg. Let go of any excess of stress that might have accumulated throughout the practice. Good, and now this time, re-bend the front knee. Instead of going forward, we're going back. So bring that front foot back and find your tabletop just for a moment. Tabletop. Settle your hands so they're under your shoulders, spreading the fingers wide. We're going to do cat-cow. You can press the top of the feet or tuck your toes under. Notice what feels best for you now. As you inhale, lifting the tailbone, arching the lower back, opening the throat. As you exhale, rounding, dropping, and pushing. <laughs> inhale, opening, stretching. Exhale, rounding, and dropping. One more like that. Inhale. And then exhale. Good. Walk your hands all the way forward. And we're going to come into our baby cobra. So take your time to slowly come into your abdomen, dropping the thighs, the abdomen, the chest, all down. Your hands are going to be as wide as your mat and a level of the rib cage. Press the forehead on the floor for a moment. And I want you to settle the body, so feel the hips, feel the top of your feet. Squeeze the shoulder blades and allow the elbows to be pointing back towards your feet and towards each other. And then press the top of your feet, the pelvis, your hands. And imagine the head is pulling you up, lifting the chest off the floor. 
baby cobra. Baby cobra, the abdomen still touching the floor, but the chest is not. And keep the back of the neck long. One more breath. And then exhale, drop the forehead down and the chest down. Soften your glutes. Sometimes the glutes get tight here. Deep breath, inhale. And long exhale. And I do that two more rounds. When you're ready, inhale, baby cobra. Just the chest lifting up. Just the chest. This is challenging because we're close to the ground. So gravity wants to push you on the opposite. And then exhale, drop the forehead and the chest. One breath in here. And your next inhale, get ready. And for the third round, feel your strength on your spine, helping you lift the chest off the floor. Relax the shoulders and then exhale, drop everything down. Good. Tuck your toes. We're going to push back to our knees to continue growing into our downward facing dog. Take your time. And as you come into downward facing dog, your spine is getting long. Your spine is getting almost like an adjustment, right? I always feel sometimes when you go into downward facing dog, it's almost like when you're shaking a rock that you're shaking it up and falls down is that's how sometimes I feel my spine in downward facing dog it's like shaking the spine down and all the vertebrates are just adjusting and aligning on its own removing all that weight of supporting our body these inversions can be very very beneficial for circulation bones and joints so just give it one more breath here Good. Walk your hands and your feet to the center of your mat. And you are welcome to grab blocks or you can stay on your fingertips. We're going to do a little bit of balance here. And I'm going to use one block and I'm going to put it right under my chest and you can bring your hands right on top of it. And then just kind of lean in your body weight just to explore your balance. Lean back to your toes and then lean forward. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I should have <laughs> said lean forward into your toes and lean back into the heels. You're like, do I have toes on my back? <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue rocking a couple more times. Leaning forward into your toes and back into the heels. And then see if you can visualize the center where the toes and the heels are equally supporting your body weight. And then press your fingertips or palms into your blocks to lengthen your spine halfway up. So you have the support of the block right here to give you that sensation of coming into an L shape. We're going to gently bend the knees, just a tiny gentle so you feel that buoyance of the knees. You're going to transition your weight into that left foot and we're going to extend the right leg up and back. A variation of warrior three. That back leg should not be as higher than the hips. Lower is fine. Tippy toes on the floor is fine. It's all about feeling that the crown of the head and the center of the chest are right in the center of your mat, finding that inner balance. And then your right hip bone is pointing south towards the ground. And you feel that your glute, your right glute is the one lifting the leg. So spread your right toes as far out as you can to activate some muscles on the joints of your ankle, your calf, your quadriceps. See if you can maintain your gaze down to the floor and breathe in with a sense of peace. This is extremely challenging. And so imagine that you are here. The biggest challenge is to find your inner balance, to connect to your inner peace. Two more breath. Good, and then slowly release that right leg down and find your standing forward fold. 
And as you extend on uh, forward fold, bend the left knee and, ex and kick your body weight into that right hip. So we're stretching the outside of the right hip, bending the left knee. Mm -hmm. And then let it feel good. And you can rest the forearms on the block if that's how deep down you go or just continue using the block to support you. One more breath in here. When we go into a standing balance and poses on one leg, we're strengthening the hip stabilizers, the outer hip muscles, the glutes. And so this stretch right now feels good because we were strengthening. So now we're going back into that inner balance between stretch and stretching and strengthening. Good. Center the leg, center the pelvis, lengthen your spine, inhale. Warrior three on the other side, spreading your right toes, bending the knees a little bit, and then kicking that left leg back. And just notice, notice how the left hip opens. See if you can close it. And the, what that means is the left thigh is internally rotating. Your right hip is hogging into the center. And you are using the back muscles of the leg and your glutes to lift that back leg instead of the lower back. Maintain your chest relax, your breath relax. You know what's happening, right? You're getting challenged for you to find your inner focus. So two breath in here, spread your left toes as spread out as you can. One more inhale. And then exhale, release, foot on the ground. Now we're going to bend the right knee and lean into that left hip, really pressing some weight into that left hip. Dropping the head, relaxing your cervical. And one more breath in here. Beautiful release, come, come halfway up, inhale. Now, as you exhale, we're gonna open the feet a little bit wider. Toes out, heels in, we're gonna go into Malasana for our deep squat. And if you need to sit on a block, you place that block behind you. So when you come down into that deep squat, you can sit on that block and you can press your knees out to the side, right? That's one option. If you don't need a block, then dropping the pelvis down. Feel free to open your feet, adjust your toes so they are pointing on the same direction of the knees. Your elbows are coming inside your thighs, pressing the knees apart. And try to lengthen the crown of the head up to the sky. And two breaths in here and feel free to maybe rock side to side. One more breath. Good. And then slowly release your hands on the ground and then transition and into that tabletop. Take your time. It's not an easy way to get there. We're going to stretch a little bit the inner thighs in a different way. And for this one, let me show you first, because I don't think we have ever done this together. We're going to use a block and I'm going to give you the front on how it looks like, and then I'm gonna give you how it looks on the side, and then you can settle. If you wanna use a blanket for the knee, whether your knees are sensitive, you can use a blanket. So I'm gonna show you how it looks on the side first. So we're gonna place that blanket under the right knee, but your right toes are tucked under, okay? So this is how it looks in here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna bring the hips to sit on the heel, so this is a deep stretch of the toes here, right? So this is how it's gonna look on the side. If you look on the front, right? We are on tabletop. We have that right knee on top of the blanket. You're gonna sit on the heels. However, we're gonna extend that left leg out to the side. So if you wanna go into the wider side of your mat, that's fine. So as you lean and sit on that right heel on your right hip, 
you're extending that left leg. So there's a deep stretch of the inner thigh. This is where you can rest your forearms on the block. And maybe you want to drop the head. It's just a gentle stretch for the fascia on your toes, on your feet, and to stretch a little bit the inner thighs. Maybe some of you are able to maybe drop the chest all the way down and just rest the forehead on the block. That's a very valid option too. Maybe you want to open the arms out to the side. We're just going to stay here for two more rounds of breath. And I know your toes probably are feeling like you're losing them. <laughs> mm -hmm. but this is this is good. You're stretching some junk out of the joints on your toes. Your feet are the foundation for the rest of the health of your body. Beautiful. As you inhale, take your time to slowly come all the way up of the pose. So come into your hands, lift the pelvis. And close your left leg in. We're going to switch. So if you're using the blanket, move it to the left. Tuck your toes on the left foot. Sit on that left hip. And then extend your right leg out. And if you were using the, bra, uh, the blocks, coming down. And just give yourself here a moment. And relax the shoulders. Let your neck relax, your arms relax. Breathing into that right hip. The more you drop the right hip down, the more you feel that inner thigh stretch. It's also a stretch for your right ankles. Stretch for all your toes. Just two more breaths in here. Beautiful, and then gently press, lifting the pelvis back into your hands. Close your right knee in. And let's do a couple cat cows just because it feels good at this point. You're on pace, inhaling. And then exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keep your exhale, keep your round of the spine. Keep dropping the head here, belly in. And then untuck your toes if they are not already untucked and continue pressing back into your child's pose. And just let your chest forward into the thighs, hands reaching forward, crown of the head relax, forehead presses on the floor. And just take a brief moment there to feel and assimilate this gentle practice in all the joints in the body, your pelvis, your legs, the shoulders, your spine. One more breath in here. And then slowly as you exhale, press your palms to help you lift the head up. And we're going to transition into our backs. So take your time to kick the legs out and forward. And as you transition into your back, keep the hips in the center of the mat. And then hug the knees into your chest. A tie hug. And feel the ground underneath you supporting your entire spine. Before we go into our um, gentle twist, we're just going to do a couple flows from bridge uh, using the hands. So we're going to release the feet on the ground and settle the pelvis here, settle the upper back to come into bridge. And as you inhale to hip, uh, to lift your hips up, we're going to reach the arms overhead. So the entire front of the body is getting that stretch from hips to shoulders. Good. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down by your side as you release, uh, release the hips down. And just like that, let's just do two rounds together. Inhaling, arms up, hips up. Exhale, hands and hips slowly going down. 
Inhale, arms and hips lift up. Exhale slowly, everything down. And we have last one. Inhale, lift. And exhale, come down. Good. Your hips right now are in the center of the mat. So lift them a little bit up the ground and move them to the left. And then both knees are dropping to the right. And you're gonna open that left arm. So we're coming into this supine twist. And you can do a less intense twist by keeping those knees a, a little farther away from your chest. If, however, you're looking for more sensation, bring the knees a little closer to your chest and then try to keep the chest away from the knees. Close your eyes. We're going to stay here for three breaths. Notice where unconscious tension is being held. And see if you can release and soften with every breath out. So the yoga is the union of the body, mind, and breath, and some might say the spirit. So notice how at this point of the practice, after we have used what is tangible and obvious for us, which is the physical, that's what we use the body to get into a deeper layer of the mind, of the self. And slowly bring the knees up, center the pelvis, Keep your arms out to the side. Now the pelvis move to the right, so both knees are going to the left. And then observe how the practice slowly goes from the physical to the breath, to settling the mind, and just to nourishing your spirit. It's feeling more aligned and in tune to your authentic self. Embracing the flaws and imperfections that makes us humans with kindness, with compassion. And that's how we slowly connect to our inner peace. Good, and then slowly come back to center with your knees and hips. And just extend the legs. Let's go straight into our Shavasana. If you need to do anything else before Shavasana, like a happy baby or anything else, just play with it for a couple breaths and then join us on Shavasana. And just giving the body and the mind a moment to marry all the efforts and to really embrace relaxation and stillness as you observe how the practice feel physically in the body, the energy in your body at this point, the focus of your mind, Pretty much on anything, but in everything as you relax into the moment. Your whole body feels absolutely relaxed as it is supported. And just notice our tendency sometimes of giving, providing. And now is the time for you to receive to be nourished. Just enjoy a moment of stillness and quiet. Breathing into your inner peace.
And just take a couple more breaths slowly through the nose. Reconnecting back to your whole body. The space that surrounds you. One thing that I've experienced of how it feels to feel inner peace is that no matter what's going on in your surroundings, you embrace everything as it is because you trust that is the way it should be. And every experience, every challenge, every circumstance, every person you meet, it's in your path to either teach you something or for you to share something to help them. When you find yourself constantly in the present moment, fully in the moment, mindfulness to the fullest, it's almost like time does not exist. Some have said that time is an illusion. It's something that the man created. So throughout the holidays, I invite you to really acknowledge and take advantage if it's within your means to really rest, to don't worry about what time it is or what you got to do. Just fully rest. Yourself deserve a fully rest to do more of what feels right to you. And I truly hope that by doing that, you reconnect to your inner peace. Give yourself a long stretch. Awakening into this wonderful new day. Hugging the knees into the chest. Appreciation for our time together, for our practice, to remind us of the things that we already know. Rock side to side. And then come into your right side for one breath. Keep your eyes closed and just notice. Smile internally because you have taken time for yourself already and then roll and come into your comfortable seated position let's take a couple breaths our breath is our anchor right palms together heart center eyes closed Nice and slow, inhaling through the nose, inhale. And slow exhale. One more breath like that, inhale. And exhale. And gently bowing the head, infinite gratitude for showing up today for the practice. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Feel of peace in your heart. So wherever you are and go, you can become part of that team, part of the souls that spread peace all over the world. Thank you so much. <laughs>